What's happening? Joy Papers, Visionary Art Group, Visionary Art Group Gaming. Future Proof in America, one YouTube video at a time. Right now, I'm recording this on my iPhone 7 in 4K. Quality should be alright for this video. It's going to be a quick one, man. But I'm going to show y'all how to get perfect footage pretty much every time. A lot of people probably don't use this. I got the Sony A6300 right here. I got the Panasonic GH4. You know, pretty much in uh, bright days, you know, lighted situations. You can't see your screen. You know, you want to make adjustments. Most people make them on the fly, but use your histogram. This is your histogram right here. The little, that's it right there. The little black box with it. It looked like the mountain in it. That's very pivotal when you're trying to get good footage. When you're trying to get good footage, make sure you use your histogram, all right? Do not doubt your histogram. I'm going to show y'all. This is a... Uh, I'm at 150 f3.5. ISO is pretty high at 2500. I mean broad daylight. So I'm going to bring that down to 800. That's my minimum because I'm shooting S-Log. I'm going to bring that down. And right now, I'm pretty much just going off what, what my histogram say. You, you pretty much want to get your histogram in the middle. All right, you want to get your mountain in the middle. You adjust your f-stop. Adjust it. Shutter speed, adjust that. And boom. That's pretty much a little, a little on the left end, which pretty much means it's a little too dark as far as your blacks. We're going to boost that up. All right, that looked pretty good. It's a little, little to the left, but try to get your mountain in the middle. As simple as I can put it, you know. Another way is, you know, with ND filters on the front, that'll, that'll cut down. You won't have to have your shutter speed so high. You know, your f-stop, you can keep that wide open. ND filter on the front, you can get variable ND filters. Pretty much you adjust those on the fly by twisting the filter front on front of the camera lens and whatever. But try to keep your mountain in the middle, man. That's that's a good, good indicator of how well your footage is. I'm shooting S-Log. I post an overexposed by two, but that's neither here or there. The tutorial is pretty much on your mountain, man. This is the Sony A6300. That footage looks good. You probably can't see it because I'm holding the cell phone and got glare on it. But it works for any camera. Just make sure you have your mountain shown. This is my GH4. I brought that up. GH4, you can actually move your mountain however you want. But this is pretty much blown out. So I'm going to pretty much make adjustments based on my, uh, my mountain, my histogram. This is a manual lens, a Rokinon manual lens. So you guys don't see the f-stop on there. The f-stop is actually at 2.8, all right? So I can adjust that manually by taking it and clicking it. I'm gonna put that on 5.6. And that brought my histogram down a little bit. And I'm gonna bring the shutter speed down. See, it's moving. Boom, that look damn good right there. I'm gonna leave my ISO. I'm gonna drop my ISO down to about low as I can go see that's too dark all right so what I'm gonna do is drop open my let me see open that up a little bit more that look good my highlights are peaking a little bit and my low end is nowhere near where it should be but my middle is uh, focus peaking on GH4 is a good camera man that's in 4k too but use your histogram do not doubt your histogram you want to get good footage out the box, use your histogram. All right, this is your papers, visionary Art group, visionary Art group gaming, man. Future proof in America, one YouTube video at a time, man. Until next time, peace.